Professor Kistner options to expand or costs that give the company flexibility in the future are also real options in capital budgeting. In this video, we will solve a problem for a company that has an option to expand. Project Z has an initial cost of 500000 The project is expected to produce after-tax cash inflows of 100000 at the end of each of the next five years and has a WAC of 12%. It clearly has a negative NPV. But there is a 10% chance the project will lead to subsequent opportunities that have an NPV of $3 million at year five, but a 90% chance that project will have an NPV of negative $1 million at year five. Should we do the project? Well, first we'll draw the decision tree, the 100,000 yearly cash flows under both scenarios. Then add the three million at year five, remember there's a 10% probability of that scenario, and include the negative one million at year five for the 90% probability scenario on the bottom branch. When computing the NPV, we find that the NPV of the top branch is 1,562,000 but the NPV of the bottom branch is negative 139,000, and that's a 90% probability. If the project's future cash flow opportunities have a negative NPV, then the company would choose not to pursue them, but they won't know until year five whether it'll be positive or negative. The bottom branch would only have the negative 500,000 initial outlay and the 100,000 annual cash inflows, which leads to an NPV of not negative one, um, a negative negative 139, a negative 139,000. Therefore, the expected value of this project will be 30,706, obtained by multiplying the 10% probability of 1,562,758 and adding it to the product of the 90% probability multiplied by negative 139,522. So this project does have a positive net present value if you include the opportunity to expand, but you can't get that opportunity to expand unless you do the first five years of the project. So we might do it. Lastly, Flexibility options exist when it's worth spending money today, which enables you to maintain flexibility down the road. To finish this video, I wanted to show you a real-world example of an option to delay building homes on Greenbelt Road near the University of Maryland. Because of the financial crisis, 2008 was not a good time to build houses. The company built a road to development and didn't build any houses in 2008. But in fact, the money spent in 2008 to build and improve the road and to maintain the land gave them the flexibility of building houses in the future, which they did when they began building and selling them in 2015 when the economy and housing market had improved. So spending money today to give you flexibility down the road can be a worthwhile real option. So we've seen now a few real options between several videos, the option to um, delay, the option to abandon, and the option to expand, and the option to have some flexibility. Thank you.